YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are safe and healthy. I had a little illness hit my household, so I have been MIA for quite some time, but I am back with a Division 2 build video that I think you guys are going to enjoy. This pistol build is great to use in PvP and PvE, so let's jump into the gameplay, follow it up with the build breakdown. It. Supply drop being claimed by Friendly. The specialization supply drop is... Okay guys, here's an overview of the build. We are running the Firewall Specialization. We are using the Exotic Coyote Mask. We've got One Piece Grupo Sombre, One Piece Douglas Harding. Then we've got the Named Matador, the Picaro Holster, and the Fox's Prayer Knee Pad. For our primary weapon, which is technically our pistol, and this is the exotic Liberty, and it got damage to targets out of cover on it. And the talent says Liberty or Death. It says hits, grant 2% weapon damage, stacks up to 30 times. Headshots consume all stacks, repairing your shield for 3% per stack. For your other weapons, you can run whatever you'd like. I do, however, run the mop because it comes with that 10% armor on kill. And when you down the uh, players, it is just nice to switch to this and get a little armor back. Moving on to our first piece of gear, the exotic mask, Coyote's mask. And this has got weapon damage, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and then we've got a critical hit damage mod. And the talent is Pack Instincts, which says you and all allies gain a bonus based on the distance of the last enemy you hit. So 0 to 15 meters, you're going to get 25% critical hit uh, critical hit damage. I'm sorry, uh, 15 to 25, you're going to get 10% uh, critical hit damage and 10% critical hit chance. And the 25 meters, you're going to get 25% critical hit chance. For the chest piece, I went with the Grupo Sombre chest piece. This gives us 15% critical hit damage, and then we've got weapon damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and a critical hit damage mod rolled onto this. And the talent we went with is Intimidate, which says, while you have bonus armor, gain one stack each second up to a max of nine. Each stack increases weapon damage by 4% to enemies within 10 meters. All stacks are lost when you have no bonus armor. For the holster, we went with the named Brazos holster, which is the Picaro's holster. This gives us 10% skill haste. Then we've got armor, critical hit chance, and weapon damage on this. Moving on to the knee pads, the named Overlord uh, knee pads, which are the Fox's Prayer. This gives us 10% rifle damage, which is not needed. Well, we've got armor, damage to targets out of cover, and critical hit damage. For the gloves, we're going with the Douglas and Harding gloves, which is going to give us 20% pistol damage. Then we've got armor, critical hit damage, and critical hit chance rolled onto these. And last but not least, for the backpack, we went with the Walker and Harris 
Uh, named backpack, the Matador, which gives us 5% weapon damage. We've got armor, headshot damage, critical hit chance, and a critical hit damage mod. And the talent is perfect adrenaline rush, which reads, whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy, gain 23% bonus armor for 5 seconds. And this is going to stack up to 3 times. Uh, this is going to work really well with Intimidate, as most of you know. Uh, now, I would like to sw uh, swap that headshot damage out for critical hit damage, but I have yet to find that backpack. For your skills, I would definitely recommend running the Bulwark Shield as one of them. Uh, other than that, you can run the Decoy uh, Defender Drone or the EMP Sticky. Those are all great options for PvP. Taking a look at our stats, we are setting at 50% critical hit chance and 140 critical hit damage. Now, with the Coyote's Mask, you're going to be maxing out at 60 critical hit chance. And uh, once we fully optimize this build, you'll be well over 50% critical hit chance and 150% uh, critical hit damage. I'm also at 1.5 million armor. Now, uh, on my chest piece, I have that one road to weapon damage. That's just the chest I had at the moment. I think I would rather have a blue core on that, bumping this up to 1.7 million. Now, really quick, I'm going to show you guys an overview of the PvE variant of this build. I'm not going to break down each piece because this video is already a little bit longer than what I typically like to post. Uh, the biggest change is we swapped the exotic mask for the exotic backpack, which is the Memento. Uh, the Memento is just too good not to use in PvE. Um, so that is why we went that route. Now you could also make this build viable in PVP, but it wouldn't work in conflict. It would have to be in the dark zone. And likewise, the PVP build that I showed you guys earlier would also work in PVE. So th these are just two options. They're both great and hit really hard, have a lot of survivability. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. And if you're interested for more content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. Remember, life's a gift, but it's not always wrapped in a bow. So always stay dedicated and keep grinding. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.